You know, that's quite the storm out there, Captain Kaz. Just look at all that. Look at all that rain. Oop, oop. What's Junior doing out in the rain? Oh, I think he's trying to bring Senior inside. I'm going to go help him, okay? You stay here. <laughs> it's okay, Captain Kaz. I'll be back. Good kitty. Ah, and this penguin. You are just a hilarious little guy. What should I call you? I'm going to take you over to, to see Dr. Nami in a little bit, but let's go ahead and get Senior inside. I think that's what Junior's trying to do. I don't blame him. That's good policy. Not leaving your dog out in the rain. I think it's okay to leave your penguin out in the rain. Junior! Hug! Hug! Oop, 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 oop! Don't mean to push you down the stairs. Sorry. Just a little bit of an over-eager mother sort of figure. Senior, you're inside now. He's a little bit wet, as you can see, Junior, so do please take care of him. Give him a good bath. Oh, looks like there's there's Lily. <laughs> so, Junior, please... Oh, nope. Oh, I'm sorry, Junior. I didn't mean... Okay, okay, I'll get the penguin out of your house. Sorry, I know. You know, Mom, she always has weird plants and animals following her everywhere. All right, speaking of weird animals, good thing that Junior is kept inside by the rain, because look who we found trying to escape. Look at this silly billy goat. So we actually found Mud Pie way over there. Apparently he jumped ship again somehow. But it's a good thing I saw him. Mud Pie, you silly goat. You silly goat. Come on. You want to get back in with the ladies? Are you a cranky old man? Are you are you feeling a little bit cranky because there's so many ladies now? Lily, what are you doing? That's a rain puddle, Lily. Oh, goodness. All right, here's a little penguin. Let me get out my little little axe and just kind of... All right, come on, mud pie. Don't sass me. Good job. Thank you very much, Boulder. Boulder's keeping an eye on everybody. All right, mud pie, you behave yourself, please. There's that. There's this. There we go. Oh, sorry, Boulder. <laughs> what a busy day. Get out of the rain for a second. But yes, hello, everyone, and welcome back. The weather has been a little bit weird. Um, honestly, I think it has something to do with those portals again. The weather's been pretty weird, and it's just been raining pretty much non-stop, but I suppose that's very good for a tree of illumination. I hadn't thought about that. I bet our tree of illumination needs a ton of water in order to, like, get all the water it needs to its roots. So maybe it's a good thing it's raining this much. See? It's not ominous, Lily. It's a good thing. Speaking of which, while we're over here... Junior, Junior, Junior. I'm gonna put down... Let's see, I did want to put down more, like, some sort of shrub for him. Junior, do you like these Japanese Kiras? Junior. What do you think? Hmm? Okay, well, we'll discuss landscaping later. I was just checking. I do love being able to bring him little treats back from, from adventures and things. Maybe we should expand his house in the future so that we can go on grand adventures and different villages and things and then bring things back for Junior, who's a very young, young villager still right now. And he can, he can, you know, have his own little trophy room, which we actually need to build in our own home. But yes, so, let's get this little squeaky thing to Dr. Nami. And thankfully it teleports to us. Because I think Dr. Nami would really appreciate having a companion. How are we doing back there? Doing good? Doing really good. Good, good. Alright, let's push this way. There's Yogi. I guess maybe putting the ducks right next to his exhibit maybe wasn't the best idea in the world. So we'll take care of that. But let's see. There's Dewdrop. Look at how happy Dewdrops is. Oh, what a happy duck. Duckess is still on her eggs, which is absolutely amazing. And Dewdrop's just down here like, yay, it's raining. Yay, I'm playing in my water. Yay. What an awesome duck. Oh, it's just, you know, I don't know. I love rainy days. Do you guys like rainy days? Because I actually really do love rainy days and it just feels like a nice, peaceful, rainy day here at the zoo. Where did I leave Tate? Lily, do you recall? Well, he'll show up when he's ready. It's okay, I feel comfortable with the dogs wandering around here. See, Bob's doing okay. Rainy, rainy day. Pepper and the raccoon and this random chicken and the cheetah. They're doing okay. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the white tiger. It just It's very hard to transport animals right now. So that's a pain in the rump. A pain in the rump, but we'll get to it eventually. Speaking of which, it's kind of hard to transport ourselves right now. Look at all this. Stepping around mud puddles. Having to jump up things. Wasn't I going to build a bridge over here? What's that? It's a cow. What's that? It's that horse. You're a curious little guy. Yeah, you're going to be Dr. Nami's companion. I think he'd appreciate having some friends. Why don't we go and talk to Dr. Nami? It has been a long time since we've seen that man. 
And he lost one of my my crabs. What do we do with it? Let's see what's in here. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, the cooked fish. You know, it just occurred to me we don't exactly provide him with food. Maybe I should be doing that more often. All right, little squeaky thing. Where'd you go? Nope, not in the puddle. There it is. Lily, stay out. Oops, stay out here, Lily. You know you know the rules. All right, Dr. Nami. Dr. Nami, how are you doing? I'm sorry I haven't been upgrading the Marine Research Laboratory like I promised. We'll be getting to that. But I have good news, Dr. Nami. I have brought you a pet. Um... No, I know, I know this is not your pet. The crab was not your pet. That was just me. That was just me with a crab. That's your pet! If I can get him inside. Don't panic, Dr. Nami. Also, don't escape. You're, you're here, like, as an intern, so, you know, can't get out here. Alright, you come here. What a cute little thing. It doesn't like being on a lead, but that's okay. Oh, there we go. No, Dr. Nami! You don't need freedom! Come back! Alright, let's hook you up. Over here. There we go. Now he has his pet penguin. Calm down, little penguin. Dr. Nami! Oh, fudge knuckles. Dr. Nami! That's a cow. Dr. Nami! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, boy. Meteor. Yep, the meteor shield is fighting off a meteor. That's not good. The meteors have been getting pretty busy lately. Dr. Nami, let's go inside. Come on, back inside. Can I put... Oh, thank goodness. Come this way. That's not going to work on you, is it? You're pointedly ignoring... You're pointedly, pointedly ignoring that. In fact, I think that it's, like, broken or something. All right, come on. Come on, Dr. Nami. Did I tie this rope to your nose? I'm really sorry if that's the case. I did not mean to uh, tie a rope to your nose. That's kind of rude, isn't it? All right. Um, could I have the rope back? I'm so sorry. I did. I tied it right to your nose. I'm so sorry. Uh. Uh. Um. Okay. I'm not gonna try to pull your nose off. I'm just going to run the other direction with this rope. Look, it's, it's not raining anymore. So you stay here, Dr. Nami, with your penguin, which people can name. So if you have any names for Dr. Nami's penguin, let me know. There's a zombie. Did I break the rope? Oh my gosh, Dr. Nami's nose is getting even more stretched than it already was. I just want this lead to break. 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 Free me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dr. Nami. <laughs> please, please break lead. Oh, it finally broke. Let's go make sure we didn't, like, pop his nose right off his face. Oh my gosh, it didn't break. Okay. Uh, don't panic, Siri. Don't panic. We're just going to put down... Oh, man. Okay, okay. Where were we? All right, let's just put this here, put this here, and then I should probably go back. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm, like, trying to put down fence posts. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of fence posts. What am I doing? Uh, there we go. Hang on, Dr. Nami, I don't know. Okay, so, okay, here's some fence posts. So maybe if I put down the fence posts over here. Get away from me, Bumblebee. Oh man, there's a couple of them. Alright, and then... Oh my gosh, the rope is just, like, stuck to him. Crap, and I'm not even holding it. It's just, it's just kind of glitched onto him. Dr. Nami, how's your nose? Fudge Knuckles. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I didn't know I would do this! Well? Um... Hang on, Dr. Nami. Nope. Yep, that's not- that's not help. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let me see if- maybe if I get the biome wand, it'll help. Or the biome wand. What am I saying? How did you get behind there, huh? Silly little guy. Um... Okay. Hang on. Stay with me. Stay with me, Dr. Nami. Alright, let's see. Um, actually, I don't know why any, th any of this would help. It's not really... Well? Well, don't panic. We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine, Dr. Nami. Um, I'm just going to discreetly see how far away I can go, and hopefully... Oh, look, it's night. Maybe, maybe going to sleep will help, Dr. Nami. I don't think he's pleased. I brought him a new pet and everything. But, Tate, Tate, there you are, Tate! What are you doing inside here? Sit, sit. It's okay, baby. Hang on. I know you're hungry. Oh my gosh, zoos. I swear, if it's not one thing, it's another. All right. 
Lily, don't look at me like that. You had food earlier. Tate was hungry. He teleported to me because he was so hungry. Don't you look at me like that. Hmm. It did not help with Dr. Nami's nose issue. But I think we're just gonna have to soldier on. Dang it. Dang it. Ah, there we go. And we're just gonna have to see what happens with poor Dr. Nami. There you go, Lily. See, no reason to be jealous. Give you some food too. But yeah, so the rain is gone. Which makes me a little sad. I do appreciate a good rainy day. Um, Cause, oops, I'm sorry, babies. Cause why not? We take so much from the local populations just feeding Lily and Tate. It feels right to get back with some wild chickens now and then. Meteor shield is up. Meteor hole is still not filled. That should be okay. I really should be uh, focusing more on getting ready for Calf and Caffers because that's actually coming through. Calf is sending me the instructions on how to build a teleportation portal for them. And I'm going to be setting that up soon and then they will be able to come visit, which will be so exciting. It'll be so exciting, Bob. And Pepper, how are you doing, Pepper? We should see if we can ride Pepper. Can I ride you? Do you need a saddle boy? Are you not big enough yet? Okay, don't worry about that. We'll get that fixed. Yep, my raccoon's still there. So things things are going pretty good. Let's just grab this. So let's go get a saddle and put Pepper away. And a lot of you really wanted Pepper to be the son that we didn't know. Uh, I actually thought it was really... Oh, hammock. I thought that was another of the, the, the tree chickens. But a lot of you really want Pepper to be the son that we didn't know that Cinnamon had. And there's so many stories floating around. Like, oh, Pepper was the son that we, you know, came to comfort you after she found out that or after the, he found out that Cinnamon passed away and his father is a wild stallion named Salt which I really like actually I think that was quite clever uh, I like it a lot Martha Martha jr. how you doing clucky birds I see them they're doing fine oh look at this grass this green grass I could just hug it I'm so glad it's back Lily T this is great oh just slobbery doggy kisses slobbery doggy kisses good dogs but yeah, I'm so glad the green grass is back. Oh, just think about it. One day, we'll be able to have picnics out here and happy people, and that'll just be fantastic, you guys. All right, let's come down here. Yeah, I think we should we should go and get, pardon me, elephants. Did we do? Hi, Cotton, how are you? There's still a cauldron of chickens uh, in, our, in our barn, I see. Endlessly bathing in their makeshift bird bath. Quite amusing. Did we do? Alright, we're gonna get out another set of saddle. And let's go see if we can get Pepper safely into the barnyard, because that'll make me feel better for him. You know, you just don't exactly feel very secure about having your horse in a, in a little storage unit area next to a cheetah. It's just not the most secure place to keep your horse next to your cheetah, you know? Maybe if it was a war horse, but I get the feeling that Pepper is very sweet-natured. Probably not as stubborn as his mother, but very sweet-natured. Not as stubborn as you. Yeah. Hmm. Hang on a second. Oh, I saw that. I saw that, you. Trying to come after me. Alright, hey, you guys. You want to eat something for me? You want to eat this Chocopedia? Eat it, mud pie. I will love you. <gasps> mud pie, I love you forever. You eat Chocopedias. Good goat. Good goat. I will feed you. What the heck? Get away from my son. What do you think you're doing here? Get out of here. No, you can't have him. Jerk face. Patrol the perimeter. Any other security incursions? I really do need to get Junior. Junior, there you are, my boy. I really do need to get Junior some more crops and things. You know, he lives in this self-contained little world, like like an elaborate goldfish, and he needs to have entertaining things to do. Oh, it looks like, um, let's see, is that Moo Cow? No, I think that's Dot Dot. It looks like Dot Dot and Lily are having a headbutting contest. Dot Dot, you stubborn goat. You stubborn goat. Are you so silly? Do you want an apple? Eh. There you go. Oh, here's one for you too, Mud Pie. I'm not going to make you eat moldy old books that I got from a skeleton dungeon all the time. I'll feed you right too. Alright. Ah, but yeah, I mean, you know, it was raining earlier, and there's something about a rainy day. 
And that just puts me in the mood to be in the zoo. Doing chores, doing chores and taking care of everything. Not everything is frantic building, even though it should be, I know. We're making- the thing is, we're- this is big. We're building a life here. We're not just- how do I put it? We're not just building an exhibit, we're building a way of living. Doesn't that just sound absolutely fan- like, fantastic? Really, really deep and profound. Probably more so than it should be, but that's okay. All right, not- nothing out of you, Mr. Little Raccoon, okay? Scoot yourself back a little bit. Nope, nope, nope. And don't bother that chicken. All right, and then let's come over here. Can I put the saddle on you? Sweet! Oh my gosh! All right, will you jump the fence? Nope. I don't think you will. There's not enough room to get a running start, huh? Nope. All right, let's see. Can you go out the, this fence? Nope. Okay, hang on. Chicken, caution. Okay, and aim. It's okay, Pepper. It's okay. Can you squeeze? Oh, that's why. But yeah, let's get Pepper transported. There we go. No! The raccoon is escaping! Come back, raccoon. Let's get you over here. Pepper, don't wander off too far. Oh, you like Tate? You like swimming through the blocks, huh? You, sir. You probably need some freedom. Thank you very much for telling Pepper the way of the way of horse world. How to be a, a strong and powerful horse in this world. Come on. Okay, where do you want to go? Do you want to live in here with Bob for a little while, little raccoon? You can live in here with Bob for a little while. I don't mind. I'm not going to make you live next to the scary cheetah if you don't want to live next to the scary cheetah. There. Is that better? Alright, I think that the raccoon likes living, living in here better. See? There you go, little guy. Bob, please keep an eye on the raccoon. It should be okay. Um, just, you know, have your chicken submit an invoice to me if he eats too much, and I'll, I'll pay for it and keep everything going. All right, you ready, Pepper? <laughs> I didn't mean for you to eat that apple, silly boy. How do you ride? Do you ride like your mom? A little slower. He's a little more plodding. But with really high jumps. These are some nice, nice peaking jumps. I do do like that. Alright, let's scooch you over this way. Can okay, let's see. Let's back up a little bit. Ah, ah. He did it! Good job, boy, good job. Definitely not as fast as your mom. But that's okay. You don't need to be. <laughs> I feel like we're we're going at a very, very relaxed pace, but that's okay. That's okay, boy. Alright, ready? Woohoo! Thank you to everyone who told me that he can do that. That'll be fun. We should have horse races one day. There you go, Pepper. Here's another apple. There you go. Happy boy, huh? Happy boy. This is the barnyard. Um, the main person in charge is Cotton over there. Though, actually, I think Ellie has probably taken up that position since she arrived here. Hush! Meteor shield. So, do please be good to everybody in the barnyard. And, oh, speaking of which... You know what we're long overdue for? Another chocobo breeding attempt. And I want to get a rare chocobo. So we're going to use the golden geishlas. And... Alright, we need to... Just see, let's see. Um, Cotton? You and you. Yes? Golden geishlas are rare, please? Do you guys not like each other? Do you need do you need permission to move? Is that it? I'm trying to remember how on earth do I do I just like Hmm. Do I ah, Chocopedia in hand. Whoop! Thank you! I don't need to ride right now. That's not quite what I was going for. Come on, you guys! What happened to like There you go. You can wander around. And let's see. Yeah, this is Daisy. Follow, stay. Hmm. Drop gear. Oh, she liked having that taken off. And now she can wander. There you go. Are you guys- do you guys not like each other? What about you? And you? Nope. Not in- Did you guys have a- <gasps> There it is! Sorry guys, I didn't even see your baby. So there we go, a little blue baby chocobo. My apologies. I didn't even see it. 
Didn't even see it. Oh, it's so cute. Congratulations. Congratulations. We can't find out if it's a boy or a girl yet, so we're just going to have to wait. Oh, I feel good. It's been a long time since we've just come to the barnyard that has a pit of open lava that I need to take care of still behind it. Ah, oh, but you know what? Maybe when calf and calfers are here, they can help me out with all of these different tasks. Like convincing this chicken to come out of this block. I mean, well, they're supposed to be guests, so I probably shouldn't have them do tons of chores and things like that. That's not what you do with your guests. We'll show them a good time, and then we'll get back to hard work. That's the way of things. Speaking of which, let's check on the staff lounge. No, thank you. I don't want to read the Chocopedia. Ah, I kept the Geisha Greens, too. What am I doing? Mm-hmm. I like it. I like how the staff lounge is looking. Okay, okay. Could use a little bit of sprucing up as far as the chimney comes. Um, I think the staff rules are okay right there. I need to make kaffirs. Uh, whoops. Oh, hey, it's night. <laughs> I need to make kaffirs a set of armor for her visit. And calf has his set. Maybe I should have made it out of something nicer than iron. I mean, I don't need to be too stingy. Have to tidy up the garden. But yes, yeah, so Lily, whenever you come in the kitchen, you always nose into the chest and get into stuff you're not supposed to be into. Out of the kitchen, girl. Where's your brother? Ah, oh, dang it, Chocopedia. Date. Huh. Oh, there you are, buddy. There, sit. Ah. Huh. Maybe when when Calf like shows up, because he's really good about technical stuff, he can help me figure out what the heck's going on with those portals too. But yeah, huh. nice, relaxing, peaceful day at the zoo. There's a cute little coral snake. Okay, that wasn't what I meant to do. Ow, ow, my foot. Ow. Hi! Hi, cutie pie. I just want to observe you in your native environment. That's all. It's okay. I'm going to back up a little bit and look at this beautiful snake as it swims through our little pond. This is what I like to see. Oh, dear. Don't, don't, don't need to do that. Ouch. Ouch. Still think you're cute and adorable. I say through clenched teeth. Ugh. Ugh, I gotta shake off that bite. There! Now we can admire the adorable little snake as it's stuck in a whirlpool. Poor thing. I'll probably save it in a minute. But it's fun not only having... Uh, I just love the forest area that we're in, the orchard. It's fun not only having our animals, but also having the native wildlife. Such as that snake that needs rescued, which I'll do in a second. And that chicken. I don't think that chicken needs rescued. I think that chicken looks pretty confident. It knows what it's gotten itself into. Ah, but nice, healthy local ecosystem. And it's finally coming into place, and we're finally repairing the glacier biome too. So that's when, and there's so many penguins showing up over at the penguin research area again. Calf will be happy. He really likes penguins, so we'll show him that. Oh, wonderful, wonderful! This makes me so happy. Everything, everything's going so well. And poof, poof, make a wish. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.